Balancing Oxidation Reduction or Redox Reactions. I'm Mr. B. Consider the reaction where magnesium metal reacts with aqueous aluminum chloride to produce aqueous magnesium chloride and aluminum metal. The question is, is this reaction spontaneous or not? To determine if a single replacement reaction will occur or is spontaneous, go to reference table J. If an element, in this case Mg, is above the element forming the positive ion or aluminum plus 3 ion in the compound on the reactant side, then the reaction will occur or is spontaneous. Since magnesium is above aluminum on reference table J, magnesium is more reactive than aluminum and therefore the reaction will be spontaneous. Identifying redox reactions. During a redox reaction, the oxidation number of one or more reactants will change. In this reaction, the oxidation number of magnesium goes from zero to plus two. And the oxidation number of aluminum ion goes from plus three to zero. The oxidation number of any lone element, even diatomic elements, will always be zero. The oxidation numbers for spectator ions don't change. In this reaction, chloride ion represents the spectator ion. Spectator ions don't participate in the reaction. In this case, they're simply there to cancel the positive charges. Remember, when a halogen like chlorine is found in an ionic compound, the oxidation number of the halogen will always be minus 1. So we may now write the net ionic equation, which does not contain spectator ions. Net ionic equations. After determining the net ionic equation for the reaction where Mg0 reacts with Al plus 3 to produce Mg plus 2 and Al0, determining the oxidation and reduction half reactions is quite easy. During oxidation, the oxidation number of a substance will increase. So Mg magnesium is being oxidized. And during reduction, the oxidation number of a substance will decrease. This means that the Al plus 3 cation is undergoing reduction. Now for half reactions. After separating the net ionic equation into the oxidation half reaction and the reduction half reactions, we get the following, where Mg0 produces Mg plus 2, and Al plus 3 produces Al0. The charge on both sides of each half reaction are not equal, where Mg goes from Mg0 to Mg plus 2, and Al goes from Al plus 3 to Al0. So we must balance the charge with electrons. Magnesium is oxidized, which means it will lose two moles of electrons. In oxidation half reactions, the electrons are always written on the product side. Aluminum cation is reduced, which means it will gain three moles of electrons. In reduction half reactions, the electrons are always written on the reactant side. At this point, the charge is balanced in both half reactions. Balancing the half reactions. At this point, we should balance the charge between the two half reactions. Balance the electrons between the two half reactions with a least common multiple of 2 and 3. This is going to be 6. So, since Mg lost two moles of electrons, multiply the first half reaction by 3, which gives 6 moles of electrons on the product side. 
since aluminum cation gains three moles of electrons, multiply the second half reaction by two. This places six moles of electrons on the reactant side. Remember, the number of electrons lost will always equal the number of electrons gained. Since the electrons now balance between half reaction one and half reaction two, we may now cancel the electrons and place the coefficients from the half reactions into the chemical equation, which gives a molar ratio of 3, 2, 3, 2. In this equation, mass, charge, and energy is balanced or conserved. This concludes my lesson on balancing oxidation reduction or redox reactions. I'm Mr. B.